Like our friend Professor Jadav, who gave the first contribution, I understand from the interaction that many people, in many colleges, students and teachers have already developed several applications on Android and they would be willing to immediately put them onto Akash. Uh, what uh, my colleague Abhilash told me is that he will be creating an upload link on the Moodle. By the way, this time we are not using separate Moodles for coordinators workshop and the main workshop. There is only one Moodle. Today, uh, Akash for Education workshop. All of you are registered there only. So therefore, on that, there will be a link created which will permit you to upload any contributions that you have made. Please ensure that you also upload an appropriate documentation along with it. At least, who has developed and uh, any other details that you want to. The second announcement I want to make about is the, uh, about the uh, minimal requirement for registering or recording all the tablets that you receive at your end. There are two important things that you need to do. One is to identify the MAC ID of every device. Now MAC ID of every device, how to find that out is not very difficult. You can actually go to the, start the tablet, open the tablet and there are instructions that will be put on the Moodle. That is where you would need your technical people and the, and the students. So against each tablet ID, the MAC ID should be entered on a register or in a notebook and it has to be entered on the logistics interface. So each one of you will receive a link when you click on that link, that will be an application, which is a web-based application. It's the logistics management application or the distribution application. We need to track every tablet to whom it has been issued. Originally, every tablet will be shown to be issued to the coordinator. So the coordinator's responsibility it is to progressively get the MAC ID for each tablet and insert it against that tablet ID. Incidentally, as you would have seen, each tablet has an eight-digit ID that we will be suffixing before it is sent to you. The first four digits will be the center code and the last four digits will be a sequence number within that center. Theoretically then, each of your centers can have 9,999 tablets eventually. And of course, we can have 9,999 such centers, although I started from 1,000. So when you receive these tablets, you will have to maintain an equivalent of a dead stock register, whatever you call it. Please note that the Akash tablets are not classified as consumable items. They are classified as equipment item. It's a very small, piddu-looking equipment, but it's an equipment. That means as per the Government of India financial rules, all equipment has to be entered in your desktop register and the initial entry must be in your name or your lab's name. You are required to actually track the movement of that because it will be issued to many people. For that movement, we have this uh, application. So anytime it is issued to someone, you can insert that person's name. An email will be generated, it will have to be verified. It is again issued to somebody else, you can do that and every time the tablet moves, it will have to be recorded there. I'll also tell you the reason for this thing. In the past version of the tablet, there was a sort of ambiguity about who has the tablets where. And a lot of people had to write RTI requests and so on. So we were asked by the ministry how we are proposing to handle this issue. We told them that since we are open source people, we will maintain the information in open source. Now, all the captures that you do, they will be consolidated every evening and the consolidated information will be displayed on a publicly seen page on the Akash side. So, 
Today's total count, let's say 13,500 tablets received. These have gone to these many institutions. This institute has these many tablets. And if somebody inquires, more details can be given. I hope you will agree that this is the most easiest, open and transparent way of knowing. So everybody knows which institute has where and within that institute will know them. So again I repeat that when you receive these tablets, the first thing you have to do is charge and install the software. Along with that, when that work is being done, the MAC ID should be recorded. This MAC ID has to be entered in the logistics. Initial entry as the person currently holding those tablets will be your names. As you issue those tablets to anyone, those names will have to be inserted. That's about the logistics. I have already mentioned that uh, uh, the two-day workshop, 10th and 11th, will have a special event on 11th. The time has now been decided. It is morning 11 o'clock to 12.15. Consequently, on the 11th, after the morning session, which will typically start at 9.30, uh, we will break at 10.30 for tea. And sharp at 10 minutes to 11 or 5 minutes to 11, people should come back into the auditorium. Since that event is a special event on education day, apart from the participants who must of course occupy the front rows of your auditorium, if there are other people who wish to attend that function, they are most welcome.